Hey, it's Emily and this is going to be a very exciting video! So, in case you couldn't tell, I'm very, very excited for this video. Um, apologies for the quality of this intro clip and the lighting and everything. Um, it is late Saturday evening and basically I'm filming this now because I will probably be in a rush tomorrow morning but tomorrow I'm meeting some of my big tube friends yes I'm meeting Rhiannon, Rachel, Chloe and potentially Karis I believe so yes unfortunately Rebecca couldn't make it because it's her birthday tomorrow so um she's gone back to Belfast but which is very sad but I'm still very excited and we're going to go, some, go shopping so I thought I'd just do the whole intro to this vlog right now because I'll probably be excited, rushing, stressed to get the train um, because yeah, I haven't been to London on my own since the virus. So yeah, very, very exciting. I'm just currently getting like, my vouchers together so I don't have to hunt for them in the morning because I don't actually really know where they are. I found most of them, I think. I don't know if I have any more or not. I might have used them in Brighton. So yeah, I'll just keep looking to see if any pop up um but yeah i'm so excited um we're going to waterstones i am in piccadilly like the big one and the big foils as well as well as going out for lunch i believe at bills <laughs> rachel has been amazing and has kind of timed everything <laughs> because i'm a mess i will just rock up to london one day on my own and just be like you know what? i don't know what i want to do today i just walk around and then see what takes my fancy so i'm glad someone at least has scheduled this all in Yes, <laughs> my train is at 8.50 I think in the morning because um, we're meeting at 10 so I'm very very excited. I'm, we're going to vlog the whole thing, we're going to film lots and I'm hoping the fact that like we're all hopefully going to be vlogging will make me feel less awkward vlogging in public. Um, so yeah, I've got my little envelope of vouchers from my granddad at Christmas. I'm just so excited. I don't actually know how much I've got on these vouchers, so it'll be a surprise when I get to the, the till. But yeah, I can't wait. I've got a few books that I might want to focus on getting, but I'm not just seeing how it goes um, when we get there. I'm so excited. I've picked my outfit. It's meant to be super hot. It's meant to be a 31, I believe, in London tomorrow, which is too hot. I've even got my fan on now at like 11pm at night because it's that hot. I don't know what I'm going on about now. I think I'm tired because I'm going to work today. Um, so yes, I'm going to finish getting everything ready for tomorrow and then uh, yeah, I'll see you in the morning I suppose. <laughs> so excited. I've never met anyone from Booktube yet. This is my first Booktube meetup in real life. Oh, I just can't wait to take all the pics. I knew you said pickies and then I backed out of it so I just went pick. Okay, right, I'm just getting excited. I'll see you soon. <laughs> I'm on the way to the station and I literally cannot wait. I'm debating, I've got a bottle of water, which is like ridiculous because it's meant to be 31. <laughs> Everyone's doing <laughs> <moving> it. <laughs> 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 Hello. 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 I got that as well. <laughs>
London and it was so so lovely I had such a great time it was like almost like emotional at the end when we were going home and we'll definitely have to meet up again soon with a couple of others as well to have a little weekend away because it felt like today flew by and it wasn't long enough so hopefully very soon we'll be able to meet up again because oh it was just so good very hot though like very hot and sweaty <laughs> But it was, it was worth it, it was worth it. Um, so I thought I'd just wrap this up now and do a little haul of what I bought. Um, I know I, I literally didn't speak at all in that whole vlog. I was just chilling and just filming as we walked down the streets and throughout the store. Um, so yeah, not much footage. It's probably gonna be a very short vlog, but I thought I'd just, you know, I reckon half of the vlog at least is the intro and outro, but oh well, I just, oh, it was so good. Um, but yes, I ended up buying nine books, which is quite a lot more than I thought but I had a gift card that was actually like more value than I thought I had I thought it was only like 15 quid but it was um quite a bit more so yes I treated myself to some books obviously we had to put them in my nice little bag here I just picked them out any random order because yeah that's part of the fun um okay so the first one is the secrets of the wild wood by Tonka Dragt and I read this last September I want to say maybe and it was the sequel to um the letter for the king it's a duology it's really good it's like knights sort of fantasy sort of thing um the, I have to say from what I've seen from the trailer for the tv show for the uh the letter for the king that's like so different this is just like a sort of knights of the realm sort of like as though it's like Arthurian times sort of thing Whereas the TV show looked like it had like fa like magical powers and I was like, what's going on here? But um, yeah, so I didn't have a copy of the sequel because I went out from the library and this is a really pretty edition and it's got like the map on the inside flap. Um, yeah, and on the other side um, of the kingdoms and yeah, I'm so glad I finally got my hands on the sequel. And I also am glad that I bought books that I, haven't re I have already read because um, I cannot be adding more to my TBR. I'm not gonna lie. The next, oh yeah, this was sort of an impulse buy. Rachel said I should buy it, and that's Olive by Emma Gannon. Don't know too much about it. Um, I think the way Rachel described it, I think, was a woman who's in her thirties and she's going through life, and all her friends are like settling down and having kids, and she doesn't want that. Um, so yeah, and it was on the bargain and half price table, so I picked it up, and yeah, here we go. That's a, a book that I bought. To uh, pick number three um, is the other one that was on the bargain half price table, and that is The Court of Miracles um, by Kester Grant. I read this um, on NetGalley and I really enjoyed it. Well, I, I quite enjoyed it. I wouldn't say it was like my favourite or anything, but I did want my own copy because um, I really want to, to read the rest of the series uh, whenever it comes out. Um, and this is very like Lemis. It's inspired by Lemis, <laughs> I think. <laughs> Well, I think, I know, I've read it and it's, yeah, basically like Lame is, but sort of fantasy and it's good fun. And I love the gold on the cover. Um, yes, so, of course, I couldn't go book shopping without buying an Agatha Christie. So, on Rhiannon's recommendation, she said the CV adaptation was good. So, I picked up Dumb Witness by Agatha Christie. Um, this is a Poirot. I am slowly making my way through them all, but there's so many. It's ridiculous and it's taken me ages like those are all the just the poirots alone so i am getting there but yeah i haven't got this one and apparently the dog is good or i like the i like the words you're use was i like the dog so here we go i got done witness <laughs> um next up we have a patrick ness book that i haven't actually read or got yet and it's quite, and look how floppy it is oh my god it's the crash of hennington by 
yeah Patrick Ness like I just said I don't really know much about this but I want to read it because I want to read all of Patrick Ness's books um but yeah this is one of his adult ones um I read all his YA and I read a couple adult like I th it was just this one and another one that I might be show you in a moment <laughs> that I haven't read so yeah I didn't realize it was so thick but um yeah I mean can't wait to actually like read all of Patrick Ness's books finally because you know it's my favorite author I should have read them all already but yeah <laughs> right got four more um I'll just show you the other Patrick Ness one while I'm on it and that is The Crane Wife um I don't know much about this one either but it's Patrick Ness so I'm sure I love it and I love the colour of the cover the only thing that annoys me about this is that like all the other books I have by Patrick Ness have like his name written like this and this one has it like that so I mean it's obviously fine I'm not bothered that much but it would be nice if it was matching oh well um so yeah i don't know much about that one but now i finally have every single patrick nice book these ever written um yeah oh next one was an impulse buy at the till it was at the till i'd already chosen all the books i was going to buy i'd even while in the queue ran off to get another one and then i saw this at till and i thought oh i should do it and rhiannon also i think bought this as well um and that is a song of achilles by madeline miller madeline miller sorry and yeah, I have heard so much about it. It's definitely a favourite in the book community. So I thought I'd pick it out for myself. Um, so yeah, I've heard it like rips people's hearts out or something like that. It's like really emotional. So yeah, I thought I'd pick it up while I was at the till. It's definitely an, oh, I didn't realise it was 10 quid. Oh, well, well, I've got a lovely copy of The Song of Achilles right now. Um, two more, two more. Uh, let's go for this one, and that's all. I'll Stop by Laura Jane Williams, which was definitely influenced by Rachel. Um, yeah, she <laughs> loves Laura Jane Williams, one of her favourite authors, and I have The Love Square and The Lucky Escape, and I just didn't have this one, and so I bought it. Um, yeah, I'm sure I'll love it, because it's sort of like, sort of book I would really enjoy, so yes and then finally this was the one i mentioned about running away from the till um just before like in the queue i went off to get and rihanna actually showed this to me as we walked in and i think chloe yeah chloe ended up buying this as well when we went back to waterstones for the second time um and that is the appeal by janice hallett which i hadn't heard of anything but this is like a murder mystery but it's all told in like emails and texts um so it's kind of like mixed media it's quite chunky but it sounded really cool like i loved um what's it called slender man which was all written in anonymous and that was kind of really cool um written in anonymous well written in mixed media um oh hello the mother's back hello oh my goodness <laughs> and then also illuminate files those were also written in mixed media so that's the last one i bought um, yeah, this is my lovely little stack of books that I got. I'm so happy. Um, but yeah, with that, I think I'm just going to wrap up the vlog because my mum's just got back and she wanted to talk to me about my lovely day. So thank you again for watching this. Oh, I haven't said thank you yet, but thank you for watching this. And thank you to like Ran Rhiannon, Rachel and Chloe for meeting up with me. It was so much fun. And yeah, I cannot wait to see you all again. And I'll see all of you watching in the next video. So... See you soon. Bye.